Over the last century, we've gone from the horse and buggy to a world teeming with hundreds of millions of automobiles. From the Model T to the latest race cars, one thing remains the same, the internal combustion engine. In these engines, a fine mist of gasoline is sprayed into the piston chamber. When a spark is added, the mixture of air and fuel explodes, driving the piston down and spinning the crankshaft. As the piston moves back up, it pushes the remnants of the explosion out of the piston and the cycle repeats. Take the unburned fuel and carbon monoxide in that exhaust, multiply it by the number of cars on the roads, and you can see why the automobile is considered such a serious threat to the environment. What if we could power our cars with a different sort of reaction? One that runs cheaper and cleaner than any engine yet. Scientists are getting closer to just such a solution. This bus can run at highway speeds over a hundred miles at a time. But unlike diesel-powered buses, it runs with no noise and produces only water as its exhaust. It's powered by something called a fuel cell. A fuel cell produces electricity, but it isn't a battery. Instead, hydrogen and air are run on either side of a membrane. The membrane induces the hydrogen and oxygen atoms to combine in a way that produces water and energy. The cell has no moving parts, runs slightly warm to the touch, and as long as hydrogen and air are provided, can't run down like a battery. The idea has been around for a long time, but until recently was too inefficient to be practical. Then one day an engineer at Ballard Systems looked at a new kind of membrane that had been sitting on his workbench for months. When he tested it, he found that the cells produced four times as much power. So far, fuel cell technology is still in the testing stage. And with so much invested in the old gasoline burning technology, it may be a while yet before we drive fuel cell cars. But with the constant threats of rising oil prices and pollution, there's never been a better time for a replacement.